hey everyone once again welcome back today in this video i'm going to show you that how you can uh, load multiple data table in a single page for example this one is a page where we want to uh, display multiple user data like in this case i'm uh, i'm building a school management system where there is a there are some current student waiting student graduate and leavers right so i don't want to create um, a tab here where i want to display uh, display the student uh, grant uh, waiting and like this right i want to create a single page where i will load all of these students like this without page refresh so this one is quick solution so let's click on this waiting there is no waiting student and if i click on this levers so there is one student right and i can instantly click on this grant to instantly switch between these uh, records right okay uh, so now these are doing at the runtime for example uh, i'm uh, here on this page right so it's not loading all of the records at once so for example i'm on the current page so it will load only current uh, if i will click on this levers so it will load only levers uh, data not the current waiting or some graduate student right so this is the thing you need to think about this as a memory usage and for better performance okay now question arise that how we can initialize multiple uh, data tables at once in one page because it wouldn't allow us to uh, wouldn't allow us to reinitialize the table again so how to do this so simply I'm, I created another route where I will uh, explain all of these things. Okay, I have prepared this route where there is uh, no other functionality, right? I'm not able to click on it here. So I will uh, now implement this click functionality where I will uh, load these leave student, right? For now, it's not working. Okay, so here this one is a code right where i'm simply using the server side data tables if you are and if you don't know how to implement the server side data tables in the laravel so don't forget to check my full uh, short course on it which is totally free available on the youtube which is jquery with the laravel where i teach you complete you how to uh, first set up the uh, so set up the fresh inspection then uh, set up the jquery and then data table and stuff like that okay i'm using server side data tables and here i'm sending this call on this route to, to uh, get the data using this uh, uh, this type right and now i want to uh, i want to get this for the levers right so let's move to the levers tab this one is leave a student tab right where i want to handle the click right so simply go here and add a click functionality okay uh, so this would be a class right and here i'm going to uh, basically i'm going to use a jquery to achieve this functionality so this one is a click event you can also do this in your jquery in your javascript right okay uh, so here i want to basically check that my click functionality is working or not right here save this one and uh, also open the console here okay let's click on this lever and yes we are uh, successfully able to uh, click on it here okay uh, now very first thing is if i will uh, reinitialize this table so it will uh, throw an exception that you cannot uh, reinitialize the data table right i'm going to use this same table i'm not going to create another table right this one is a table which is this one right i'm not going to use any other table so simply uh, we need to destroy this table then we are able to use this right so first destroy this table here okay uh, let's uh, add this uh, example dot data tables and then call this uh, destroy helper helper which exists in the javascript right so it will destroy the data table and then i want to uh, achieve the similar functionality right so here i'm going to uh, copy this stuff from here right and uh, i also need this uh, bet type right so this bet type helps uh, to load the data from the server so let me uh, do this bet type 
bad type equal now i want to load the lead student right and then after this leave i want to paste all of the data table stuff right i copied the same data table which i'm existing i'm um, using right okay so now uh, simply we already added this line here and now the we added this so let me make this whatsapp okay and we are destroying this table we added the bed type right let me make sure everything is working fine okay fine uh, we added the uh, destroy stuff then we added define the bed type and i'm basically passing this bed type to load only a specific record so save this one and give it a refresh so it will load the lever students okay so before this it's not working i go ahead and click on this it will load only one data if it will work click on it and yes it's loading the one data which is correct if i go ahead and give it a refresh and click on it and yes it's loading the one data right and here in the current i don't have implemented this functionality right i'm achieving this on the load time right but here uh, in this way you can also uh, go back on this grant how simply go here and uh, copy all of the stuff right like this and then paste it and here you need to specify let me identify it properly uh, okay and uh, here i want to uh, make this uh, current students right current students uh, destroy the table and then this type would be the current right save this one give it a refresh and go back here click on it again oh i'm on the student so let's move to the demo okay click uh, oh it's not working why i think uh, here i'm using the current click if i go at the top no everything is fine oh i added this so uh, i think inside of this one let me cut this out from there okay cut this out this one is the uh, ending bit of this data table right this one is ending here and uh, no it's correct this one is for the leave student oh i added this inside the leaf that's why it's not working so simply go ahead and paste this well i'm not going to orientate this anymore because it took some time so let me open this what's the error this unexpected end of input so it means that i'm not ending this properly so let me copy this and now it will work uh yes it's working click on this lever yes loading the levers click on this grunt and yes we are successfully able to navigate between these two tabs right so in this way you can uh, render multiple uh, your data table in a single page so if you think that this video helped you so share your feedback and subscribe to the channel i will meet you in the next one bye